Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It has been uh, quite some time since my last video tutorial for you guys. I have been delaying that on purpose. I'm sorry, but I have been saving some money and um, been practicing a lot. And I have bought myself a new camera and uh, some other stuff to uh, really up my quality on the videos for you guys. So um, as a little test today, I am tying this little autumn fly uh, up here, also very good in spring. It's not that you can't use it in spring or in summer or whatever. It's a really fast, simple tie. You might have noticed that we have moved inside today. It is freaking cold outside, uh, too cold to be tying in the tying shed anyways. So uh, we have moved inside here today to my little um, corner in, uh, in the living room where I, uh, where I spend my, most of my evenings uh, practicing my tying or uh, trying to invent some new patterns. And uh, yeah, I will leave a material description down in the, in the video description down below. And uh, without further ado, let's crank out this little autumn fly. Okay. Hook size I'm using is uh, size 10. But of course you can tie this in all sizes. I like to use this fly as a, as a dropper fly whenever I'm fishing two flies on the leader. Tie in some orange, fluo orange mallard here on the top. Turn this off in full length, the hook shank. Now take some flash, in this case what I'm, what I'm using is opal mirror flash. like so, and then trim these off in a different length. And then we need a soft tackle. This is Coq de Leon hen tackle. Secured. <laughs> 
like so. Then take some dubbing. The dubbing I'm using here is a mix of olive, uh, fluorescent yellow, and some copper. there. Then you need another soft tackle. that nice and secure. Trim that off. Make a whip finish. Two should be enough. fly out a bit here. Don't be scared, you can be really mean to it. And there we have it. Really fast to tie, super fishy. And uh, because of these fluorescent elements, and if you believe in that stuff, and, uh, that sea trouts or the trouts should be able to see this fly from further away. Okay, that was it, a really fast one. This was, uh, as I mentioned, only to uh, test my new setup out a bit. And um, this fly was also requested uh, quite a while back on my Instagram account. So uh, here's a little shout out to you, Svenja. Uh, I hope you like this little tutorial and um, I hope you catch some fish on the fly as well. And uh, to all the rest of you guys out there, catch you in the next one. Bye.